What's up guys, this is gonna be a multiple part series, so uh, this is all on cradling. I just wanna first talk about concepts. There's so many different things that we can do from the cradle. First we'll talk about concepts and then I'll add some more videos breaking down the different techniques. Number one, um, there's many different passes you can do. This is obviously gonna come at any time where I have the ability to have someone's knee and their head closed. This can come from this position. Look, he's, he's in, in butterfly. Now I can, I can pocket his head, I can grab around his head and arm, or the, 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 uh, the leg and the head like this connecting, right? He can be on his side like this, for example, and I can connect head and arm, not head and arm, sorry, leg and arm on top and bottom. I can grab either way. I can also do that, obviously, we're still on the ground, but I can do it while we're facing the other way. I can grab top, both actually, right? Or just the bottom. This also happens in that same position with his knees towards his head, go to turtle play. So now we're over here in turtle. This happens a lot, you know, I'm, I'm in the front headlock or whatnot, he pops up on a foot and bada bang, there's head and arm, now I can have it back on the side. I've got him, I've got him in that cradle position. Uh, another spot that people do this is maybe they're in the front headlock and they start fighting the hands and the knees, or sorry, the hands and they start backing up trying to fight out of the choke like that, for example. He puts his hands there, he starts standing up, start going here, I take him over, all right, now I'm back on top of him on his side in the cradle. So what does a cradle do? A cradle stops all of his uh, guard movements. There's a lot of guard that is completely shut down. He doesn't have his posture. His, you're always trying to bring the knee to the face like this. He doesn't have his guard back. Um, it's hard to defend his neck. It's a lot of things. I can also move around him. So I want you to imagine if I have cradle facing the other way, for example, and his arm is around my back, I've got arm locks galore. There's all these arm locks over here, right? There's also Dar's chokes when his arms are on my back. You know, they're right there, right? The other thing that happens when they're in the front, when they're in the, facing the front, as in his, his arms and legs are facing towards me, I've always got the leg entrances that are right here. I can come off and start attacking legs. And if I have them with the inside, I've always got the inside leg attacks this way. So it depends on which way he's facing. I have legs. I have the head. Sometimes when he has, uh, on your side, I have facing me, I have the darts this way too. Just like I did the darts while he was facing the opposite way. Stay there. So I was over here. He was facing this way and I still have the darts, right? I have the darts this way. I have the cradle. Boom. I have the darts this way. There's so many things that are there. There's many guard passes. There's legs. Next, head and arm. That's a lot, dude. So uh, I'll put out more in the series there. We're just trying to open your mind to all the attacks that can happen, let alone also back attacks. Like if I'm here, right, I can sit this guy up and I can start to come up and take his back. You know, like I'm on his back nice and safe. Leads to the truck, leads to twister type movements, you know, all that good stuff. So you have back attacks as well with the cradle. Pretty versatile position. He's stuck. You're on attack. He's on defense. There's uh, his his options are way low, and whatever he does is going to be slow to escape. And he certainly does not have a bunch of counter subs. His counter subs, in terms of you being in danger, are way low. So we're going to go over the crucifix, or not the crucifix. Sorry, the cradle. Rock and roll. <laughs>